Welcome, this is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina, I am the mommy. Welcome, if this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome to the Ark today, guys, on this happy Thursday. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday, great week thus far. I hope you all are doing well. Um, welcome. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Come in, take a load off. I hope that you enjoy your visit. Um, I'm, hold on for just one second. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I just made the tripod go. I, I'm like, yo, today. But anyway, I hope that you're all doing well. Um, we're going to get started right away with prayer time. And then we have some other things we're going to do in this video. Oh, yeah, and the Bible study. And I'll explain this in a minute. Let's do the prayer time first, and then I'll explain this. I'll explain why the board looks like this instead of like this. So, anyway, let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to Oh, yeah, we have to, before we can pray, we have to add Noah to the prayer list. And we are adding Aaron's family to the prayer list because her sister passed away. So, her sister Deborah. So, we need to pray for Noah. Noah has a sinus infection, guys. Yes, he has a sinus infection. Not fun. So we're going to pray for him. <laughs> um, that's really all. So let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you and we praise you and we thank you. We thank you for all that you do for us each and every day, for, for listening to us and for being there for us. And Lord, for answering and Father, we think now of, I just think of the prayer request that Erin had for her old manager, Sue, and her family as they have just lost their grandfather. And for her friend whose mother-in-law and Nana are having issues, I just pray that you will be with them. And I just pray that you will just, you will just meet that need in Jesus' name and for Erin's family as they are grieving for her sister Deborah. I just pray that you will just comfort her with all the comfort, Father, right now that is yours, that is that is hers in you, Father, in Jesus' name. And we just pray that you will just be with her and her family. And Father, we pray now for, for Dave and for his family, for, for Elaine. Father, I just pray that as she is in the last stages of Alzheimer's, that you will just comfort her family that you will give them peace that you will give them comfort that you will give her doctors the wisdom as to know what to do and her family is to know what to do lord but that you will just give them all peace and comfort at this time and father i just pray that you will be with 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 all those who need healing father i am just praying in jesus mighty and holy name we are claiming healing for Colleen, for her blood pressure, that you will bring it up to a one perfect 120 over 80, that Stephanie's blood pressure will stay perfect, that she will stay feeling better, Lord. I just thank you for the praise that her chiropractor has been helping her. And Father, I just pray that you will just continue to give her blood pressure, to keep her blood pressure low, Father, the way that it should be, the perfect blood pressure. And Father, I am also claiming healing for Susie, that by your stripes, Susie is healed from her knee, hip, and back pain. And for Jim, that by your stripes, he is healed. And for Becca, that by your stripes, she is healed. And for Jessica, by your stripes, our sweet sister Jessica is healed. Father, I just pray now that you will just be with Jessica now. Give her the peace that passes all understanding as she just lost her, her service dog. Father, I just pray that you will just comfort her. As I know, he was more than a service dog to her. And she loved him. And Father, I just pray that you will comfort her also. As I know what it's like to lose friendships. But let her know, Father, that she has a lot of sisters in Christ that love her. Give her that reassurance. May she know that she has a lot of us that love her. And that we are here for her. And Lord, we are also praying for Lori. Father, from reborn huggles as she just found out she has breast cancer i just pray that you will just be with her i just pray that you will just help her father that that as she is going through this that you will give her doctors the wisdom that you will give her and her family first and foremost the peace that path is all understanding 
Give her the reassurance that you've got this and that she's going to be just fine. And that, Lord, that you're going to heal her. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, we are praying for healing for Lori. And Father, we are also praying, I am praying ahead of time, that as we set a time to support our Dolly sister, that many people will support her, come out and support her, Father, and tag her, and that you will just bless that day. And Father, we just pray now that you will just be with Tammy, that you will touch and heal my Tammy, my love's eyes, Father, that, that she will be able to see clearly in Jesus' mighty and holy name, take away the macular degeneration as only you can. And Father, I'm praying for Sonia, for her leg and her, her shoulder. I just pray that you will touch and heal her. And Father, I also pray now that you will just be with, be with the situations that are presenting themselves, Father, in our minds. That Father, that I just come against everything coming against our minds. In Jesus' precious and holy name, I just pray that you will just be with with each and every one of us as we are going through mental issue, mental health issues, Father, that for any of us that have anxiety, worry, fear, depression, Father, just take that from us. Just in the name of Jesus, I am calling out everything that is coming against our minds. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, we are praying for your peace, your peace that path is all understanding. And we are asking you, Father, to give us your joy. Wrap us in your loving arms. Let us know that you are here with us and that we have nothing to fear, nothing to be sad about because you are here, because you are with us in Jesus' name. And Father, I just pray for Susie and for Anne Marie and for me and for Becca and for Jessica and for for Colleen and for Lauren and for Anne Marie and for, for I just come against what's coming against sweet, my sweet sister Susie's mind. Father, she's had so much anxiety coming against her mind. Father, I just come against all that in Jesus' mighty and holy name. I just pray that you will just be with her in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray now that you will just be with, that you will just be with Megan, that Father, that you will take away that, that, that desire for that, that mini bike and that she will get a good, sensible, safe car. If she wants a car, she can get a sensible, safe mode of transportation in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray for for Allie, she is going to have to go to the eye doctor on Tuesday. Father, I just pray that you will just touch and heal her eyes, that all she needs is glasses in Jesus' name, that, Father, that by your stripes, that concussion has been healed, and that she does not have to worry about her vision anymore as she is having that blurry vision, and that is all too common and all too familiar to me. And, Father, I do pray for Noah. Father, we are praying for Noah as he has a sinus infection. Lord, I just reach my hands out to him. And in the name of Jesus, I am claiming his healing from this sinus infection. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, give him the rest that he needs. Be by your stripes, this sinus infection is gone. Drain his sinuses. Father, just touch and heal them, I pray. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, I just pray that you will just touch and heal his sinuses and be with Anne Marie, touch and heal her father. I just claiming her healing in Jesus name from the chronic fatigue and the muscle pain and the thumb pain and the, the back pain and the headaches. Father, take all that away in Jesus mighty and holy name that it is completely gone, that she has no pain. She's not fatigued. She can get the things done that she has to get done. And father, I just pray now that you will just bless us today, that you will just Lead us, guide us, direct us, and teach us today. In Jesus' blessed and holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys. Now, we are going to do the Bible study quick. As you can see, the board is this way. Because Jeremiah is... I'll show you why the board is this way. Jeremiah is this way. So, he felt like being a little closer. So, I was like, okay. That's fine. So, I decided to put the board this way. Acts 13, 2 and 4 are our verses today, guys. If you're just joining us, we are doing Experiencing Spiritual Intimacy by Krista Kind. And so, if you're just joining us. And so, okay. Acts 13, verses 2 and 4. Sorry, guys, I had the wrong page. Okay. In this, I guess I should tell you what we're looking for. Okay. We find times we find instances in the scripture as as the spirit does things quietly we've been talking about the spirit doing things quietly that sometimes he wasn't 
quiet about things. Okay, guys? So we're going to talk about that in this lesson today. We're going to talk about how he wasn't so quiet. And in Acts 2 and 4, he wasn't so quiet. So what did he do? What did he say? Let's, let's, let's see here. Acts 13, 2 and 4. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. And then verse 4. So they, being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed unto Sec Secula, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. So, what are we talking about here? Okay. What did the Holy Spirit do? Why wasn't he so quiet? What did he say? What did he do? The Holy Spirit spoke. He actually spoke and he told, he gave direction. He gave direction. He spoke and he gave direction. What did he say? He said, separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. Then he sent them forth. So the Holy Spirit spoke. He gave specific directions. He called workers and he sent them out. That's what he did. He called workers and he sent them out. That's what the Holy Spirit did. That's why he wasn't so quiet. There were times, and, and there are times that he's not so quiet in our lives either. He does speak to us. He does direct us in things that he wants us to do and how he wants us to do it. But I tell you something, that's us listening. And it still comes in that still small voice. It's still that still small voice that talks to you. It's very soft and gentle. So, that is today's lesson. That is today's lesson. So anyway, that is today's Bible lesson, guys. Not a very long one. As you can see, it's not a very long one. Now, I am going to say something before I get on with the rest of the video. Well, first we're going to pray, and then I'm going to let you guys know um, I'm going to let you guys know I'm going to announce something after the prayer okay guys so let's just pray and thank God for his direction dear Heavenly Father we come before your throne of grace and we just thank you very we just thank you spirit that as you are quiet most of the time that but you do speak and you do give us clear direction like you did Paul and Barnabas and we just thank you and we praise you for that and and we just pray that we will be more sensitive to listening to your voice and your direction in our lives in Jesus name we pray amen amen okay that was just a quick prayer guys now before I forget to announce it on Monday Monday the 20 October 23rd I was thinking in support of Lori, for Lori over at Reborn Huggles we would now this is how it would be okay we're going to do breast I want to do a, a breast cancer awareness video where we dress our babies in pink we might even if you have something pink that you can wear that's long sleeved if it's cool where you are and you want to wear something pink long sleeved feel free to support Lori. I thought we could tag Lori and then everybody who did it, everybody who does it on Monday, I'm going to have a piece of paper that I'm going to write down your names and then I'm going to draw something. I'm going to like try to figure out how to get a breast cancer awareness thing or just get her a card. Maybe a card would be a better idea. Um, I'm just going to get her thinking of you card and hopefully get her address and send her the card with all of our channel names and all of our names in them. So, if you guys are interested in doing that, um, 
please do so. I will watch all the videos and then I will get Lori a card out. Um, but you're going to tag Lori at Reborn Huggles. You're not tagging me and you're not tagging because I know Penny and Keith were thinking of doing something too. You're not tagging us. You're tagging Lori over at Reborn Huggles. This is so we can support her and show that we love her and we are thinking about her at this time. Um, we have a supportive community and I just want to do something to support Lori through this. And yes, I'm praying for her, but you know, I thought we could get a card out to her with all of our names. I'll write the, the names of all the channels that did it and send it in a card to Lori. Maybe with a special little thing in it. Um, but for those of you who don't know why we're doing this, it's Lori over at Reborn Huggles, which is diagnosed with beginning stages of breast cancer. So I want us to show up and support. I mean, let me tell you something, guys. The more support you get through cancer, any illness, I mean, if we wouldn't have had the support that we had when my husband had cancer years ago, he had cancer about 20, actually it's 26 years now. They consider him 26 years cancer free. And, um, so just, you know, I'm hoping you all participate. Um, I'm hoping that other channels will participate that aren't subscribed to my channel, but maybe are subscribed to your channel and you can tell them about it um, and get people to participate in this pink day. It will be pink day, breast cancer awareness, pink day. October is breast cancer awareness month too. So um, I think October is anyway. There are so many awareness this month, guys. I, I kind of, I know they're, we're doing domestic violence here in York. Today is everybody supposed to wear purple um, here in our town. So anyway, that is my announcement. Um, yesterday was a good day, guys. I'm just going to tell you, I had a really quiet, peaceful, I got a lot done. As a matter of fact, and this is another thing I'm saying, Patricia, your giveaway doll is going out tomorrow. I finally got her packed. I had to go get tape. Please forgive me. I had to go get, I did not realize I didn't have that much packing tape. So I had to go get packing tape and um, I had to get a bigger box because I didn't realize the box I had was too small. It's like a little compact box. Maybe next giveaway, I'll be able to fit that particular giveaway in there. Um, because I will be doing a giveaway video ahead of the giveaway, but that's going to be at 400. So, and at 500 subscribers, guys, I was thinking of giving away one of my cabbage patch at 500 subscribers though. It's the only amount I will go into my cabbage patch for, but the next giveaway 400 will be pretty special gonna be like a little different one for me to do I just you know coming up with a little different giveaway but anyway um I'm gonna put you guys on pause and I'm going to get the second half of the video together and I will be right back and then I will tell you what we're doing okay I'm back we are doing okay today is we are doing dress up Thursday hosted by Stephanie and Jackie over in love for reborns 2011 and today's theme was animals or fall colors. Oops, I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, as I was saying, we are doing Dress Up Thursday, hosted by Stephanie and Jackie over at In Love for Reborns 2011. And as you can see by the title, it is animals or fall. So, I'm going to show some animals, but we are doing the fall theme today, guys. Um, she said, it, like, fall colors. So we're going to go one step further and well, as you can see, when do you go to the pumpkin patch? 
in the fall, guys. So, Mariah is going to do some activities for preschool today as well. So today is actually a preschool day as well. So let's get started. Let's get to it, guys, because I have a story for you guys. Mariah, what are you doing? She's already getting head start on her preschool. Look at this, guys. Isn't There's one? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mariah. What did you do? Mommy, I decided I wanted to get a basket of pumpkins out. But, sweetheart, those pumpkins, they're, they're decoration. They're my fall decorations. You and Jeremiah love to be in those pumpkins. You know that? I know, Mommy. Let's count them. We're going to count them for preschool, everybody. As you can see, she is in a Carter's vest with all the fall colors on it, all the, like the flower colors, the gold and the, the oranges and the, the, the like reddish oranges and stuff in the fall colors. It's a cream color onesie that came with it. That is a Carter's six month. She has a gold barrette in her hair. She has jeans on and of course her sneakers. Um, but she is dressed for fall. Now let's count. Let's count. You ready? Go. What is this? This is... There's one pumpkin, Mommy. There's two pumpkins. There's three pumpkins, Mommy. And there's four pumpkins, Mommy. Yes, there are. You gonna put them back in? Count them. Put them back in with Mommy. Go. There's one pumpkin going into the basket. Here, let's show everybody what the basket looks like. Here's two pumpkins going into the basket. There's three. And there's four. So we got the pumpkins in the basket, guys. Now, we have over here I told you we have animals as well. So it's fall and animals day. So it's the pumpkin patch with the animals. Um, Mariah goes to the pumpkin patch with the animals, kind of. Lenny the llama. Bunny the bunny rabbit. All animals you find on a farm. This is Jeremiah Jr. And Lammy the lamb. Lammy the little sheep. Because people do have sheep farms around here. I don't know where you live, but we have llama farms and we have sheep farms around here. So, anyway, we are going to read a story. Actually, there's a story behind this story, guys. The Pumpkin Patch. Let's read it. And then we have eight little preschool activities to do for you guys. It's going to be a quick one, guys. It's autumn. The days are cool and crisp. The wind, oh, I should say, this is a story in photographs by Elizabeth King. This is a, um, just a book. I don't think it's a scholastic book, but it's a book. But anyway, let's get reading. It's autumn. The days are cool and crisp. The wind rustles and the, the corn stalks and sh shakes the leaves from the trees. Down the dusty road in the pumpkin patch, the pumpkins are round and ripe. They are ready to be picked. The pumpkin patch is part of a large vegetable farm. The farmer grows peppers, corn, and squash. Pumpkins are a type of squash. Did we know that? A lot of work was done in the pumpkin patch before the pumpkins were ready to be picked and carved into Halloween jack-o'-lanterns. Work begins in July. The farmer prepares the soil in his fields for the pumpkin seeds. First, a plow slices and turns over the earth. Very educational book, guys. This is an old book. I got it from a thrift store, so it's falling apart. Next, the ground is smoothed by a machine. Then, straight rows are marked in the fields. A crew of workers plants the pumpkin seeds in the, in the rows with a hoe a man digs a hole in the ground. Another man drops a couple of seeds in the hole and then covers the seeds on the earth. 
Mommy, what does this have to do with pumpkins? You'll see. She wants to know what it has to do with pumpkins. We'll see. I will show you guys. Pumpkin seeds come from the inside, from inside pumpkins. The seeds are creamy white in color, but the seeds farmer, the seeds farmer buys from the seed company have been coated with a pink powder. That this chemical keeps the seeds from being eaten by underground insects after the seeds are planted. Picture of the pumpkin, guys. Under the warm earth, the seeds begin to sprout. After a week, two leaves appear where earth seeds was planted. These first leaves are called seed leaves. Next, pumpkin vine leaves appear. These leaves are a different shape. They have jagged edges and feel prickly. The leaves grow quickly. Sorry guys, I don't want this to go really long, but. The pumpkin plants have been placed far enough apart to leave room for the pumpkin vines to spread. Before the plants get too big, the farmer weeds between the rows. Weeds take away water and food from the growing, pump, from the growing pumpkin plants. More new leaves grow, stems grow too. The stems twist and crawl along the ground as they become vines. Curly tender, tendrils appear on, on the vines. They wrap themselves around other parts of the plants to help the vines spread. The vines become thick and strong. Soon they will be long enough to touch one another between the rows. The leaves look like big hands covering the earth. Meanwhile, flowers begin to bloom on the vines. Some of the pumpkin flowers sit on top of little green bulbs. These little bulbs will swell between the flowers. They are baby pumpkins. With water and sunlight, the little green pumpkins grow bigger and bigger. The pumpkins are hard to find among the leaves because they are the small co same color, but they do not stay hidden for long. The pumpkin skin slowly turns turn from green to what color is that, Mariah? Yeah, it's a color orange, Mommy. Good girl. By the middle of October, the pumpkins are plump and orange all over. They are ready to be picked. First, the workers cut the vines to untangle them. Then they cut the stems of the pumpkins with big shears. There's a lot of pumpkins now in there. Yeah, mommy, more than four. Yeah, it's more than four. The farmer's family decorates the farm stand for Halloween. They place pumpkins all around on the, on the soft straw. They hope customers will want to stop at the stand with the Wicked Witch. The Scarecrow and the paper mache pumpkin that is big enough to walk into. There are piles and piles of pumpkins that have been grown on the farm. They come in different sizes and different shapes. Some have smooth skins, others have big bumps. Some are big and some are little. Children come to the patch to pick out their pumpkins. They see and touch the pumpkins. They roll them on the ground and hold them up. This squash makes a great crown. The pumpkin is round and smooth with a good strong stem for the lid of a jack-o'-lantern. 
when he sells the pumpkins, the farmer's work is done for the year. Now it's time for the, the children to take their pumpkin home and carve them. With a candle inside, the pumpkin glows on Halloween night. Ghosts and goblins, beware. The end. Now, we are going to do a preschool activity that surrounds a pumpkin. I got, went back to the Dollar Tree and got a little pumpkin like this. So we're going to go over to the table and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that pumpkin. We're just going to draw on it, guys, because I tried carving it. I tried carving. I got two of them, and I tried carving one last night. It's all full of a lot of little styrofoam. So we're just going to draw on it. So let's go draw a pumpkin. You want to draw a pumpkin, Mariah? Yes, Mommy. I want to draw a pumpkin. Okay, because pumpkins are part of fall, guys. So we're going to leave the animals over here, and we're going to go do this. We are going to draw on a pumpkin. And as you can see, I got my little pumpkin centerpiece here with flowers. Okay. I'm hoping these markers work, guys. We are going to draw on the pumpkin. Okay, guys, you ready? We're drawing on the pumpkin. Oh, that's a good job. Look at the good job Mariah did on her pumpkin, guys. I am so proud of her. She did a good job on her pumpkin. Look at this. So she did a pumpkin. That's what she is doing for preschool today, guys. She learned all about pumpkins today. So anyway, I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ark. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. And we will see you tomorrow, which is Friday, guys. T-G-I-F, it's party time. Well, kind of. Friday's always party day, I think. Anyway, we hope that you have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ARC. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.